Hey fellas, this is the clutch side of a uh, Stupor Trooper. I got the engine engine transmission out, and this is the clutch from it. You can see <laughs> why I always wondered why it never really left good on, on the uh, launch at the track, and I think this is why it's just saturated with oil or something. I, that engine it's always a pet peeve of mine. It was leaking oil all the time out everywhere it seemed, but. I think I know why now, because <laughs> it got all in the clutch. And uh, this is a flywheel, it's just a stock, probably the stock one from uh, the factory. But you see, if you can get up here to catch all that, all them heat and stress cracks. Um, what the uh, guy at the machine shop told me, he says, don't worry about them, you know. And I was like, oh, well, I'm fine. And then, uh, you know, you pay. 50 bucks to resurface it or like I've done in the past put some WD-40 and some wet dry sandpaper like 220 or 280 and uh, hit it with the DA and it works just fine but if you're really particular I mean you pay 40 bucks to get it machined or you do it the redneck way or you can go to uh, Rock Auto and get a new flywheel for one of these cars for like 60 bucks you know you pay a little more for shipping another 10 bucks for shipping or so and you know you got a brand new flywheel with no cracks on it but you know who's to say it won't crack you know a few times after you use it but anyway just a thought on that and this crappy clutch i might take it to work we got a parts washer it's like a big big old dishwasher might throw it in there and see how it looks after maybe rod will want to use it because it looks fairly new and it's a uh, l-u-k so i don't know We'll see. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll clean it up and see how it looks. Maybe Rod will want to take a fly at it. He likes doing that stuff. So that was all. Later.